Hey guys, today we're going to go through technical topics and how to study them. Technical topics are subjects such as computer science, engineering, or design. These technical subjects seem like they're impossible to study, but there are a few ways where you can put a little bit of effort in and get a really well-rounded knowledge of the subject. I personally used these steps when I was studying Python myself. Number one, start with the basics. To build a strong foundation, we need to have a good understanding of the basics. The basics are the building blocks, like concepts, definitions. If you don't have a good grasp of them, they can set you back when you're doing more complex stuff. In computer science, for instance, start with the bare bones. I'm not saying learn assembly, but I'm saying learn how data is manipulated, how data is created, stored in computers. This will help you when you come to study more complex languages, as you'll understand how they work on a more fundamental level. Number two, break it down. Try to focus on smaller parts of each topic and master them. Of course, this doesn't work great if you're cram studying for an exam, but if you keep a solid and consistent routine of learning in detail some part of your subject, you'll be able to achieve a lot more. As I was saying in step one, if you're learning computer science, break down data into different parts. What data types are there? How data is manipulated? And how can you create your own data? This will help you understand pretty much everything there is to know about data manipulation. Number three, visual aids. Visual aids are especially useful in technical subjects, as some of the concepts can be a bit heavy worded. I find a lot of the resources on YouTube explaining data management, data storing, and data analysis to be really helpful when it comes to this. They usually have diagrams explaining how different concepts and different functions, I guess, work. But just seeing these diagrams doesn't help you. You have to make sure you can reproduce them and understand what you're doing while you're reproducing them. If you could make your own diagram from scratch, then you've basically taught yourself how to do the subject. Number four, practice. As annoying as it is to hear, practicing is the best way to apply your knowledge of your subject and to see how well you understand it. This could be as simple as opening a book and finding the problems they leave at the end of the chapters and working through them. Or if you want to practice your coding skills but can't think of a topic or a project to start, head over to leak code or something uh, and try to do some of their problem sets. Start with the basic ones and work your way up. Hopefully these steps will help in whatever you're studying. But anyway, thanks for watching.